Game of Thrones as a series? Don't know. Don't like dragons. Good memory. They like um, elephants. Stark. Isn't that Avengers? See, I just see that and I just see blah, 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 blah. It's safe to say that I am not a Game of Thrones fan. Well, this is like where I live. IRL. MLV. There's me. There's you. This is why I haven't got time for more than one episode because I'm busy the great Jamie Lannister, doing this. Kingslayer, Oathbreaker, brought to his knees by the men of the north. And set free by the women. You'd think he yeah, done it himself the way he tells it. Christy. Lord Forrester's sword won't clean itself, you know. Okay, do I have to clean a sword? Pick up. Make sure it's spotless this time. Lord Forrester won't be happy with blood and brains all over it. Go on. It's only blood. And brains. You just said. Oh, wow. Intense gameplay. Intense that gameplay. A proper sword. I'll have one like it myself someday. You? You'll never have a sword like that. I say that as a friend. And if we're being honest. Booties and are just beef a boys. Classic to LV. An ass bowing. Apologies, your lordship. I had Andy, you know. Great voice. <laughs> and in what? Capturing him. He was nowhere near the Kingslayer at the Whispering Wood. He was so drunk, he barely made it out of his tent. Next, he'll tell us he caught Tyrion, too. <laughs> Shh. Let him finish. Oh, he'll talk all night if you let him. You captured the Kingslayer. Aye. Silence well, is always an option. Aye. And round his ankle as ten others took him down. <laughs> See? What did I tell you? I brought him to his knees. Lord Forrester. But not before he dragged you halfway across the battlefield on your face. You're questioning <laughs> Norrin's story. Are there honor. no women in this? I'm questioning Norrin's story. I like women. It grows more far-fetched every time he tells it. <laughs> Get your lead, Lord, some wine. Go on. I don't take orders from you. Nobody I don't take, take orders, orders from, from you, Lack. You idiot, you're his squire. Now fetch him some wine. Poor little dwarf. Thank you, Garrett. I'll do it. Garrett. Norrin's family has faithfully served House Forester for centuries. His honor is beyond reproach. And House Tully is forever in his debt. They've never seen a field plowed so well. As the day the Kingslayer dragged poor Norrin across the battlefield. <laughs> ah, yeah, that was funny. <laughs> Fetch your cup. The night we celebrate. <laughs> to Rob Stark, the King in the North! The, the King, 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 King in the North! It, yeah, Tomorrow, the King in the North. We march on Casterly Rock. And House Forrester has been given the greatest honor to lead the Young Wolf's army and ride That'd be the good if you actually like this. That means you can watch me do the whole thing and I don't have to do the rest by myself and no one else turning up. There's one thing Miss Luby loves, it's dwarf jokes. Winter is coming. Let's hope it waits till this bloody war's over. Got it. I didn't realize everyone was English. Is that Game of Thrones? Is, is everyone English yes, in Game Lord? of Thrones? I need you to keep an eye out for Roderick. As his father, I could not be more proud of the man he's become. Dennis. On a night like this, men find false courage at the bottom of their cups. Dennis turned up to watch some Telltale stuff because he loves Telltale so yes, much. My Lord. Oh my God. There's also the question, well, what's to be done with you? It's been on my mind for a while now. Something must be done. What do you mean? You've served House Forrester well for several years now, but I can't expect you to spy forever. From the middle of the screen to the bottom. How shall I the reward fuck? your loyalty? What can I offer you? Um... You served me well. Let me fight for you, my lord. You've more than proven your ability on the battlefield. No man would question that. 
There were those who had their doubts when your uncle put forth your name as my squire. But you've erased those doubts entirely. It would be yeah, an yeah. honor to see you riding by Roderick's side in the Vanguard. Just put your face cam in the middle of the screen. Not what, just right, right in the middle of the... the equal um, of any man who serves Hodge Forrester. It's well deserved, Garrett. Your hard work has paid off. Begging your idea. pardon, my lord, but it's long overdue. Arrogance doesn't become you, Garrett. Perhaps I misjudge your readiness for this honor. Middle, middle. Oh, right in the now center. And find Roderick if you can. I will, That's a very lord. good idea. Thank and you. make it really large as well, so it, it I take up 90% of the image. Bloody hell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Empty. Squire! Fetch us more wine! <laughs> can you give me a hand? No, fuck off. Come on. Can I get up to you? Fine. But you owe me. Oh, you? MLV. I've been a squire no. longer than you have. I outrank you. I can't turn my cam off, Dennis. This is my moneymaker. This and this. That's all I've got left. That's all I've got left. Much more wine. Back in Telltale. Scrub my armor. Clean my boots. Just my luck to end up with Norin while you serve the Lord. Let him fetch his own wine for once. Got it, MLV. He's a drunk, a liar, and an arrogant prick. You'd better watch your tongue, Bowen. It could be much worse. What the fuck do you know about it? Nothing is worse than Norin. See, this is like this is like Dennis. Dennis out with uh, out with the lads. Dirty Frank. Shit, shovel and slab. Well, Martin number twenty. Was the greatest honor in the Seven Kingdoms. Double chin. Look at this. I suppose and double chin there, farming. bitch. I guess if I got this. But not by much. This is money. a job for a pig farmer. <laughs> All I'm saying is, at this rate, we'll never be more than this, which is nothing. The lowest of the low. For all I know, we could be squires for life. You could. Pulling wine around a fucking wedding. What a waste of fucking time. Not me. What? Tomorrow I ride with Roderick and Lord Forrester. Sir Gerard the fucking Great. Unbelievable. That's a lot of swearing. Maybe if my uncle were castle in I'd be getting promoted too. Who my uncle is has nothing to do with it. He's got Lord Forrester's ear, doesn't he? <laughs> I like that you comment sure that as well. It didn't hurt. Martin no. Oh okay. How much further? Martin number twenty. Well, it's I'm right over there. there. I'm on the wrong side, I should be on that side. that side. Ah, uh, fuck it, who cares? Take your time. You lot Fit. have drunk your share. Good thing Lord Walders. In a generous mood. Fucking phrase. Fucking phrase. Nice. This is like, this is like hanging out with Boyle in real life. It's like this. Not often he finds a willing husband for one of his daughters. Yeah, talking about daughters. Let's see some women. It's all men. Men are boring as hell. Let's see some women. Don't expect me to carry it for you, Sir Garrett. What? <laughs> What's wrong? What's gotten into you? You're acting rather odd. You've had right, too much wine. Dennis, have fun. We have enough wine. And <laughs> take the Come fucking LB, flag no way. already. Gross. What's wrong with him? Imagine the Something smell. Something the MLB. matter? Bowen, we have to go. You go if you're in such a rush. Uh, I don't know either of these people, so. We have to warn the others. Good luck. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> Oops. I didn't press. I was too busy laughing to press the button on the screen. Doesn't appear to be. Oh, okay. That felt like a primal. Let's see some X, 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 X. 
I don't think it's possible. Ready, boys! Whoa! So all this going on in there, calmly sat on the floor, ready, waiting to be executed. Shoot that one! That was the biggest disappointment in battle. No, like, exit, 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 exit. Left like a pro, down like a pro, triangle like a pro. X, 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 X. Oh, that bring that X, 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 X back in force. Fuck. Mamma mia. Roderick! Oh, we Jim and Pell Roderick. Ça va? Good fucking riddance. This is pretty funny, so.
Amadeus, Amadeus. Lord Bolton right. better give us fucking titles for this. Winter may be coming, but at least still have us bacon. No! Piggy, no! No! Pauline the pig. She gone. Move along, boy. There's nothing for you here. What about bacon? <coughs> Father. I said move on. Unless you want to get fed to the fucking pigs. It's like this was I written by a 12 year old you. with the swearing. You're a forester, squire. Former Stark bannermen have no claim on land anymore. Or haven't you heard? The Starks are dead. Where'd you get that sword? Not a chance that sword is his. Must have stolen it. Out here by himself. Probably a deserter. I, yes, I do love pudding. I killed a man for it. Did you? Now, why don't I believe you? That sword's too big for you, boy. You can barely pick it up. Get oh, you can make it fit. My land! This is Bolton land now, boy. Lord Bolton is the new Warden of the North. I reckon he'd like a proper lordly sword like that. No. No, he's got caught. I'll have that sword, boy. Oh, it's gotta be fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Such a big sword, but it's it's what you do with it that counts, right? <laughs> what most people don't understand about swords is that girth is just as, if not more important than length. You could really get in that heart. Alright. Finish this fucking big farmer. Pathetic. Danny Tids, I love you. Have you actually played it, DT? Also, hi, how are you? You really are a pig farm. I'm sad about the pig death so far. <laughs> I just got effed. Am I dead? Am I pissed and dead? Fuck. Don't worry, that didn't happen. No one saw that. Forget. Finish this fucking pig farmer. Pathetic. Shut up, Miss Louvy, you bully. Jesus. I'm so innocent. I just don't understand violence because I'm too innocent. You are a pig farmer, aren't you? Oh, you finished it. Nice. <coughs> See, you hate most games than it is. So the fact that you like it is a really good sign. There's a lot of swearing in it so far. Oh yeah, I'm so good at pressing right. Oh no! Next. Yeah, that's right. Please, I beg of you. I have a family. I'm gonna kill him. If I get the choice, I'm gonna kill him. I have no quarrel with you. Kill him. I was only following orders. No, I mean, please. square. <laughs> Lord Whitehill will see you hang for this. Got it for a few months ago. Oh, yeah. Yeah, cool, 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 cool. Yeah, that's where I've got it from as well. Like, I've had it installed on my PS4 since July. Excuse me, I'm very high, but this morning I've had a lot of coffee and I've just had, like, a shitload of chocolate and soup. Not together. Father? I'm just very hyper. Gary, you survived. Your sister. She hid. Well, his sister is a fence or a tree. I tried to stop them. Don't talk about chocolate soup to me, MLV. Not up for it. That was a serious Dark Knight Rises death. R.I.P. Bro. Oh, as opposed to an alive corpse. I will avenge my daddy's death. I will fight across the lands because I am British and I will avenge my daddy's death. You rate it better than Walkie Dead? Oh, but, um, Danny Tids, do you watch the show? 
because I've never actually seen the Game of Thrones TV show. So I think that puts me at a disadvantage. But I've seen one episode. It's Garrett. Get the Castellan. Tell him his nephew survived. Another survive. helpful contribution from Demtax. <sighs> I love Telltale. In fact, I'm probably going to complete this game now just to annoy Garrett. Dennis. I was too late. They were already dead. Bring the maester. Meet us in the great hall. Quickly. Maester. Never watched it. I never watched it. That's really encouraging, Danny Tiz, that you loved this. Two white Having never seen the show. MLV, the that's a good sign, isn't it? They killed my family. And for what? My sister, she... She was only eight years old. This never would have happened with the Starks in power. It's... Unimaginable. No. Oh. Unacceptable. You have my condolences. Thanks. Thank you, Mister. Mm, the blade cut deep, but I should be able to save your leg. Your Thanks. justice was swift. Some will call it vengeance. No doubt the White Hills will claim it was murder. It's it was your family. I can't say I would have done any different. I would than do you. it again. I'd do it again if I had the chance. If we don't respond with strength, they won't stop until they have everything. These maggots ought to help prevent infection. Yeah, maggots. Hold the wound open for me, would you? Oh no. Oh no. No, 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 no. <laughs> oh. Hot. You can stick your dick in that. That's grim. These are dark days, I fear. To lose the lord of the house and the eldest son through Reminds such a you, despicable act of treachery and betrayal. <sighs> Greater houses than ours have fallen in times such as this. The late Lord Forrester was a good man. And poor Roderick. A serious man, but he would have made a good lord. Our house will never fall. By the gods, let's hope you're right. The future of this <laughs> house is in Lord Ethan's hands now. Although he is Have young, you not finished Until Dawn? Until Dawn is so good, man. Lead. So good. Right. Uh, this might hurt a bit. Have you seen Until Dawn, this for Miss Lulu? It's the bomb. I understand from your uncle that Lord Forrester saved your life. He did. Rather odd, though, that he chose to save you, his squire, and not his son, Roderick. Oh my god, it's so good. Until Dawn is so fucking so trash. Himself. He gave me a message to deliver. I sent a you message? A message? So about good. what? What about Last of Us? What did he tell you? Get my uncle. Just start again, DC. Start him. again. Your uncle? I see. Must be rather important then. Lady Forrester will be here any moment now. I'd like you to walk for me first. To see if you can put any weight on that leg. Uh. It's got Claire from Heroes in it. Save the chili to save the world, etc., etc. Go on. Don't stop now. It's better to let the blood circulate. Don't stop me now. I'm having such a good time. I'm having a ball. That's a nice tapestry. I used to live in Salisbury, which had the Magna Carta in it. Part of Magna Carta. That was a very nice tapestry. Mirror. Mira, Still in King's on the London, I suppose. Although, I wonder if they'll bring her home. Lord Forrester, it was an honour to squire for. Oh, me. you should totally stream it, DT. Gregor the Good. It's like it's like Telltale Games, but it's Asher. got more gameplay. Exiled to Essos, unfortunately. Talia and Ethan. I suppose Lord Ethan now. Lady Forrester. She's always been kind to me. Treated me like I was a Forrester myself. Ryan. Never easy being a fourth born son. Oh no, there's someone I didn't look at. Roderick. Roderick. He was our best warrior by far. Until I let him die. <laughs> You got every trope. Oh, nice, DT. You got skills, mate. You got skills. You're not working today. 
or you work in the afternoon slash evening. Also, we're going to be on GTA tomorrow night if you're about. We'll finish the heist, but we've nearly finished that. And then after that, it's you and me, baby, in races. I'm going to take you down. The Ironwood Grove. There's a lot of things to look shield. at. Mm. The strongest wood in the known world. Five the to foresters owe their lives to this wood and the weapons that come from it. At least it's not a long shift. Bit awkward hours wise for you though, I'd imagine. I'd, I'd imagine you prefer doing morning shifts. Mm -hmm. Get it out of the way. I may be mistaken. You do seem able to put weight on it. Okay, can I leave here? No? Is there something I still need to do? I've looked at everything, have I not? Let me pass. Oh, you stupid big chair. Chair's way too big for my liking. Oh, you... Okay, maybe it helps if I actually go down the stairs instead of go down the bit that isn't a stair. Case. Right, I'm here to look at your medical supplies. Let's touch the bucket. Touched a few buckets in my Rather time. cute little creatures, aren't they? I guess. No, they're not. Why don't you get a pet maggot? 10 to 4 tomorrow. Ah, oh, see, 10 to 4. That's the best shift, man. That's a great shift. I'd love to do that as a standard shift instead of my shitty shifts that I do do. Do do. <laughs> I said do do. Bandages. Yes, please. Do do. Yep. Whoopsie. I don't want to look at those uh, maggots again. My sister's nickname is Maggot. She loves it. It's a good thing you've done, bringing that back to House Forrester. By right, that belongs to Lord Ethan now. Even a sword as strong as this would barely make a dent in a shield like that. Ethan. Is oh no. That's my arch nemesis. Sis, 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 sis. I'll admit, you do seem better than was. <sighs> How are you doing? Like two, two, two in one, no. one, one in two. I just wanted to ask you. Why do the White Hills hate the Foresters? I think it's safe to say the feeling is mutual. There's been enmity between the two houses for as I'm long as, as anyone as can. can remember. I don't doubt someone killed someone, which led to more killings of someone's, and then, well, here we are. Thanks for explaining it so clearly, sir. Can I go now? <laughs> I believe your leg will be fine. Any time will tell, but... Lady Forrester. Welcome home, Garrod. We're all Wasn't relieved to know you survived. Thank you, my lady. Talia asked to see you. Garrod, I heard what happened. Is it true? Your family... Are all dickheads, yes, it's true. I'm so sorry. Mato. Hashtag me too. Off to bed now. Hurry on. Perfect. What a perf. Garrett was just telling me how valiantly Lord Forrester fought to the end, even when all was lost. Yeah. I I'm sure Lady work. Forrester would like to know. So exhausting. He loved his family, my lady. the same shit over and over he again, was very proud of Roderick. Yet he was unable to save him. You were with Roderick, no? I'm sure it was chaos and confusion, but if you can remember anything... Rob Stark named him to lead the van for the march on Casterly Rock. A fitting tribute, no doubt. He was House Forrester's best. This has been so incredibly difficult for us, especially the children. But I was told... I was told you were the last to see my husband alive. Yes, my lady. Yes. I know it may yeah, be difficult. Yeah, it's my fault. Remember, He's dead. If I may ask. I won't tell that. Was there anything he said? Any last words before he passed? If you can remember, it would mean so much to the family. He said he loved you. He said he loved you. That's very kind of you to say. You have the forester sword. She knows he's lying. Her husband was not a romantic Ethan type, now. obviously. He's the new lord of the house. No, I'm not saying Thank Northgrove. Thank you, Garrett. 
Of course, my lady. It demands a response. It's too dangerous, especially now. Now is the time to prove our strength. I'll be sure it's given to Ethan. I'm not going to say North Grace this in front of This was our people. land. They were our people. Your family. I share your outrage, Sir Royland. I do. But now is not the time to provoke the White Hills. Not with Ramsay Snow coming to see us bend the knee. The hell with I Ramsay Snow, already. the bastard. I like to think, I hope maybe I'll get the talking sword from Dust and Elysium the Bolton, Tale. And Ramsay Snow will want his retribution. Well, it never shuts up, like me. We're the ones that should be demanding retribution. They attacked me. And they'll say they were keeping the peace in the name of House Bolton. It's an argument you cannot win. We have to be smart. Ramsay Snow will be here within the week. And what would you have us do? Nothing. I would have us use our heads while they're still attached to our shoulders. Smart. Garrett has lost as much as anyone else within these walls. Maybe you can talk some sense into your uncle. Garrett suffered enough already. You asked too much of the boy. He deserves to be heard. My uncle's right. We need to be smart. 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 Eddard Stark was smart. And look where that got him. So, what's to be done? <sighs> Ultimately, it will be for Lord Ethan to decide. He's just a boy who can barely hold a sword. He knows nothing of how to lead men. He is the lord of this house, and he needs our help. It's bad enough the Boltons would have us bend the knee and swear fealty. But now, this. But I'll accuse you of murder, and us of protecting you. The boy was just defending himself. I'm not faulting him Fuck for the what Boltons, he did. Man. Fuck the Boltons, man. One of their men killed my family. Aye. You'll say it was justice. They'll say it was murder. It's just the excuse Ramsay Snow would need to put us to the torch and kill us all. I'd like to see them try. I'm afraid it's a risk we cannot take. Which is why you cannot stay. Cannot stay? Duncan? But, but where would I go? The one place beyond the reach of even House Bolton. Tell You're sending world. him to the wall? Oh. The boy's done nothing wrong. Not in the eyes of the Boltons. I'm afraid it's the only solution. I'll do what's best for the house. So I'll go. I'm not afraid. I know it doesn't seem fair, but it is what's best. That yeah. settles it then. You can have my horse. <laughs> and I'll see you have plenty of food. But we haven't. Can you imagine time. that on the box? The White Hills Ninety percent talking you. shit about family. <laughs> I would have that in the advert. Play Telltale's Game of Thrones. 90% talking shit about family. Word up to me. I'd gladly drive a sword through Lord Whitehill's heart if given a chance. I would. And God's willing, someday I will. But for now, I have House Forrester to consider first. We need more women. Lord There's not very many women in this game. You put in the interests of the Telltale are so good at writing women. Many of Lord Forrester's best men have volunteered for the war. His own great uncle was a ranger with the Night's Watch. He promoted me. At the Twins. We were to ride in the van to Casterly Rock and... and I at Roderick's side, but... It was right, well right, deserved, right, Garrett. You worked hard and served your lord with honor. I've been waiting for the right moment to tell you. I love what? incest. What is it? Lord Forrester. I told you, MLV. I didn't want to say this in front of anyone said, else. Who's right? I'm right. North You're wrong. Can never Copy be friends. Lost. Enemies now. Sorry, that was not... It's not classy Sorry. of me. You caught me by surprise. It's not often discussed. If ever. What is the North Grove? Most don't even know it exists. They think it's just a myth made up by one. I think it's a really, holes, really efficient form of shaving cream. That way. You haven't told anyone else, have you? No bumps or anything. This is important, Garrett. I need to know the truth. Lady Forrester asked. But I said nothing. You can well go and play it if you want, Danny. Tis, you can do whatever the right fuck you want. You're an independent here. white man. From this day forward. This will be our secret. But soon, I may need your help. But, but I, I enjoy having you in the chat. Yet. 
If you want to play, you can do whatever the fuck very you well want. be vital to the future of this house. But don't breathe a word I've of it to, to anyone at all. Become a ranger if you can. It will help. I want to become a Power Ranger. Iron from ice. Iron from ice. Iron. Remember, you represent House Forest. Miss Livy, did Your you say exactly what? We've been spending too much time together, my friend. Of the house. That's the second time we've done that today. I'll make you proud. You already have. That was a good jinx. That was a great jinx. Garrett, wait! Dennis, get a fuck me. Oh, is it the heart of the ocean? From Titanic? No. Be safe. Look, you're clearly underage. Let's just be friends. He's gonna lean in, he's gonna be like, oh, I'd fuck him too. That's what Game of Thrones is about, right? Ethan. Age doesn't matter. Well, it does when they're like 13 at MLV. Jesus. Ethan. I couldn't find him. Could you? Everything goes okay. Fair enough. <laughs> he hides too well, and if he were smart, he would reveal himself. I don't like this game anymore. Maybe something happened to him. Ethan's fine. He's just forgotten this is a game. I win. Congratulations, your lordship. Don't worry. It's just a game, Ryan. A Great voice. Game. I don't like it. He was worried you were gone. I thought we'd never find you again. I'm right here. And I promise, I'm not going anywhere. I think I the word you're looking for, here. Dennis, is cunt. And Asher. And... And Roderick. I do too. But Mira's in King's Landing and... Can't she come home? I don't want her to die too. Ryan, she's perfectly safe, I promise you. Right on, your name is spelled either. very bizarrely. Maester Ortengrin said he got sent to the wall. I'll miss Garrett. He was nice. I don't know what he did to get sent away like that. He let me buy one of his pigs once. It was fun. Oh, that's a euphemism fun. if I ever heard one. Garrett is smart. Whoa! No one will tell me what Garrett did, but it must have been serious. I heard Duncan and Sir Royland talking. They said Take someone will come here looking for revenge. I hope work isn't too Everyone's bad for you today, man. About you, but I'm not. Oh yeah, and uh, I know you'll protect us. Who said they're you. worried about me? Well, Sir Roiland for one. He says you can't fight very well. What? And he calls you a milksop. Sir Roiland forgets himself. After all, you are the lord of the house now. I don't care what he says. I can protect you. Hmm. What does milksop mean? I don't know, but I know it's not good. Ethan, you Milk should stop. let Sir Sounds Roland like it probably means like cum bucket sword. or something. Like, like a man. Get fucked. <laughs> he taught Roderick and Thanks. Asher, and he even showed me how to fight. Properly, I mean. A lord should know how to fight. <laughs> Do you remember when we were younger? When we all used to play here? You, me, Roderick, Asher. We'd all be out here for hours. Milk sop yeah. equals baby. Oh, really? Where was I? You weren't born yet. Maybe it doesn't it's mean so come back in. But then, well, then everything changed. Roderick became so serious, the Lord in training, and he never smiled anymore. Sir Erectus Asher, Official. Asher just got angry at everything. Promise me you won't be like that. Please, just be you. I like you the way you are. All right, Bruno Mars. Cool. I know a lord has many responsibilities, but you don't need to be like them. I don't want to get angry. 
But I may have to. Father did sometimes. But you're nice. Everybody says that about you. So are we gonna fuck her? Because I hear there's a lot of incest but in Game of Thrones. Since you're the new lord, you can do him? anything you want. I suppose. Oh, there we go. Everyone Leading will have to, to do as you say. So I could have all the sweets I want. If only it were that simple. It would be nice if someone did what I wanted for once. You have to understand. Being Lord is a great responsibility. I can't just fool around. Thank you for that, Roger. All right, Governor. I'm going to get some chocolate and hope it has the magical Lord ticket Ethan, inside you're it. You're needed in the great hall at once. Quickly, on your feet. I'm just a chimney sweep. All right, Governor. What's the matter? Lord Whitehill has arrived, unannounced and certainly unexpected. He's come demanding justice. Can't he meet with Duncan? He is the Castellan. Stay with us. Please, Ethan. He's demanding an audience with the Lord. We really must go. It's your decision. You are the Lord. If I were Lord, I would command Ethan to stay with his family. Excuse me, I'm, I'm the Lord. I you, Sir Royland. I'm the new Lord of House Forrester, not you. Of course, my Lord. It's okay. You should go. It's go ahead, must Royland. be done. Fine. Let's be done with it. Where's the boobies? Bad bitches. That is a shitty attitude. I agree with you. They showed up unannounced. Lord Whitehill is in a lather. I assume you explained to Lord Ethan why they're here? A business with Garrett. I told him. Lord Whitehill knows Garrett is a squire to this house. Or was, I suppose. Is. Was. It makes no difference. The Whitehills were clearly in the wrong. So don't give him any satisfaction. Out there, you said you were the Lord. Now prove it. Let's not do something rash. Oh, where's the get dick out option? Enough as it is. I can handle Lord Whitehill. Well said, my lord. Now is not the time to anger Lord Whitehill any more than he already is. He's got five times as many men, and the backing of House Bolton. All the more reason to stand up for ourselves. Only cowards and dead men roll over. That's exactly what it feels like, actually, Dennis. <laughs> this is what it looks Lord like. Lord Ethan, is it? My condolences for your father and brother. The late Lord Forrester was no friend to me or my house, but to his family, it's still a loss. Thank you, Lord White. Not shaking your scabby fat hand. Look at you. My only regret is I wasn't there to drive the dagger into his heart myself. I've been waiting for this day all my life. Oh, this is what it feels like to have Forrest Dennis as a viewer. Finally, get there, do you? How dare you! I dare, and I'll do as I damn well please. And no bread and salt. What kind of fucking house receives a lord with no? What kind of fucking bread house receives a lord with no fucking bread, bread and salt? You no fucking purposes. amateur. It I is, it's like hanging out with Boyle. Fetch Lord Whitehill some bread and salt. It was an oversight, Lord Whitehill. I he promise it won't happen well. again. Not like I'm always it. kicking off about bread you and salt. Foresters have shit on us for generations. Well, now the Starks are no longer around to have your back, are they? We're the power in the North now. Roose Bolton is the Warden of the North. Aye. And we've been his bannermen for five fucking centuries. You cunt. Lord Ethan, <coughs> you're losing control of this. Lord Whitehill, please. OMFG. I'm not finished. Maybe if you hadn't been so fucking greedy with the Ironwood, things would have been different between us. You squandered your share. Our share was taken from us. No so much choice sorry. but to harvest what was left. What is it you want, Lord Whitehill? I thought you said Lord Wanker. Your man, the squire. We were minding our own business, keeping the king's peace, as his lordship here said, when your man attacked us for no reason. Hear that? 
Attack for no reason. That's not how it happened. Then you admit it was your man who killed my men. And a pig farmer at that. How do you answer for your squire, Lord Ethan? He acted in your name. Telltale. And you are the Telltale. lord of this house. Your men attacked and drew first blood. They murdered his entire family. You lost pig farmers, not soldiers. I like the subtitles keep soldiers jumping down halfway time. through. Where's the fucking writing themselves out. Who killed my men? I know he's here. What have you done with him? He was sent to the wall. Who the fuck sent him to the wall? <laughs> so much swearing. Answer me. Who's the one who did it? I did. What? That was my justice to deliver, boy. And you denied me of it. I'm not leaving until I have my justice. Now bring me the coward who did it, or you'll answer to Roose Bolton. What kind of fucking house is this? I don't this? give a shit about you. A house you. of honorable men. Lady Forrester. You bellow like a wounded boar, Lord Whitehill. No, they're Have you fucking forgotten your manners, Dennis? I mean no disrespect to you, my lady, considering your losses and all. But this... this is not over! It's over when my son says it is. Thank you for coming, Lord Whitehill. Ethan is Lord of Ironrath now. By rights, his word is law here. If that displeases you, then I trust you can I mean, find if the she's door. his what? If she's the, the dead... Can't she take over? That lad may be lord of this house, but Lord Bolton will have the final say. I'll send him a raven letting him know a forester man killed one of his own. That the new Lord Forester lied to my face and denied me my justice. Then we'll She's see whose office, word she? is law. Do as you like, Lord Whitehill. Women didn't have the rights, but kids did. I was wrong about your son, that makes my lady. A lot of sense, doesn't it? He stood up to him like a true lord. You were brave, my son. But you'll need to be braver still when Ramsay Snow arrives to see you bend the knee. Prepare a raven. We need to send word to Mira in King's Landing at once. Preparing a raven. I don't actually type out whispers on my computer. Your sister you can help us. I just prepare a raven to send the messages Although to you. Although just a handmaiden, she has Marjorie Tyrell's favour. Oh, hi, Mira. Lady Marjorie's betrothal oh. to the king may be... It's getting hot and heavy in here. Mira. If it's presented Damn. as it should be. Oh, do I get his controller? Oh, yeah. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Look at unfinished letter. No, thank you. I guess I'm going to have to look at the unfinished letter. She's quite a bit younger. Oh, come on. I didn't mean to... Come on, Telltale. You know I didn't do that. Alright, we'll go back there if we need to. Look at this One dusty old tome. One made by man. By Lomas Longstrider. Oh, I like her voice. A gift from Roderick. Oh, I really like her voice. I hope to see them all someday. I'll tell you what, Dennis. It's one thing I love fucking. It's ironing boards. I'm always fucking my ironing board. Do you know sick of it? King's Landing. I wonder if it's sunny at Ironrath today. Look at, look at the graphical effect they use on the stuff that's in the mid distance. Oh, so fucking shit. Letter from Mother. It troubles me to even ask this of you. But you must appeal to Lady Marjorie to intervene on our behalf. She is our best hope, and can be a powerful ally, especially now when your family so desperately needs her help. Yeah, there's too much going on at one time. What 
One moment. <laughs> oh, sorry, milady. I, I didn't mean to disturb you. I can come back later if you'd like. Go away, you little skank. Later Get would out. be best. I don't want to see of you. Of course not. Little shit. Hi. Lady Marjorie. What's going on here? Right? I was hoping oh. there would be time for us to talk. Come, there's something we must discuss. Um, Dennis, I'm a lady. I don't associate On myself with little chimney sweep garden, skanks. I thought of you more as a friend than as my handmaiden. A dear friend, in fact. Thank you, my lady. And you know how I feel about what's happened to your family. I feel your pain as if it were my own. And these ladies look happy. What you've suffered is beyond imagining. You're very kind, my lady. Of course, Mira. But you must not despair. We will get through this together. Yeah, we will. You must understand there are limits to what I can say, especially here in King's Landing, now that I am to be queen. To have a handmaiden from the North whose family fought for Rob Stark. It raises questions at a time I can least afford. Cersei herself cornered me this morning outside the Royal Sept. She mentioned the Northern girl in my service, and she painted you a traitor. Let it, Dennis. Take it easy, man. She was very pleased. Just leave with me herself. and MLV with these lovely ladies. Her face was full of mirth as she said it. I'm not a traitor. Of course not. It's only an excuse to torment you, and by extension, me. She demands an audience. She wants an apology of some sort. Ooh, for what I don't It's getting know. a bit hot and heavy in here, MLV. We got ourselves now, some lovely looking ladies. Her. I wouldn't ask this of you if it were not important. I cannot apologize, my lady. I'm not. I'd like traitor. it if they opened the door and Cat were almost stood there, and then they opened another door and Jane was stood there. Please her. Humor her. Tell her what she wants to hear. See if the Queen Regent is ready to receive us. Queen Regent, would you like to watch Titanic with us? It's been remastered in 4K. You'll be fine. I know you will. You may feel one thing, but you must say another. Good luck. There. She telltaled. These guys look fun. You can do this. You can do it, put your back into it. Alright, alright. I'm into this. I'm into this storyline. There's something weird about me. Um, I just like women. I don't like. I don't like men. Ah, Lady Marjorie. Dwarfalad, Aren't you Dwarfalad. looking lovely this evening? Lord Tyrion. Your Grace? With your permission, allow me to introduce Lady Mira of House Forrester. Standing tall. It's probably not wise to do in front of him. Well, I am honoured, Your Grace. Hmm. Yet not honoured enough to kneel, I see. Oh. House Forrester is a northern house loyal to the king. Are they? I beg your pardon, Your Grace. I wasn't talking to you. I want to hear from the girl. Is your family loyal to the king? Perhaps you should ask the new Lord Forrester. He's not here, is he? She is. House Forrester's loyalty to the crown never wavers, Your Grace. A lot of them I sound see. like... And Children yet, are doing the voices? For centuries, the Foresters have been loyal bannermen to House Stark. A house of traitors. Yes, Your Grace. They are traitors. The Starks were your Don't liege lord, you can name them traitors so easily. Clearly her loyalty wavers quite a lot. If she has any loyalty at all. Is your house willing to swear fealty to your new liege lord, Roose Bolton? Yes, Your Grace. Absolutely. 
I see. Despite the fact Ruth Bolton allied with Walder Frey, I definitely fuck that. If it was me, I'd find it difficult to so quickly forgive the men who killed my father. Old allegiances are not easily abandoned. But now that the war is over, we must look to rebuild and forge new alliances. There are ships and shields to be built, and Joffrey will need a steady supply of ironwood for his armies. I'm told there are others who would happily serve that purpose, but I trust we can rely on House Forrester. Forrester Ironwood does seem rather unique. Yes, Your Grace. It would be a shame to see it fall into the hands of another they house. The, the girl's face is kind of like oil painting. Particularly her. Wouldn't you? Ask any Lannister, and they do whatever. I think it's supposed to be makeup. To save Casterly Rock, it would be unfortunate to see another house lay claim to what's yours. I won't dishonor myself, Your Grace. I see. What would you have the girl do, Cersei? It's not as if she fought beside the Starks. Wielding a battle axe for the Northern Army. It raises an interesting question, I suppose. What? Can we what? truly blame those who end up on the wrong side Did of the you see that? Our dear Marjorie here was betrothed to Renly Baratheon on the false assumption that he would one day rule the Seven Kingdoms. Can we fault her for her mistake? Should she be held accountable? I won't judge her, Your Grace. I wasn't there. I didn't face her decisions. Aren't you a delightful girl? If only one could flit through life without ever holding an opinion of their own. If there's a point to this, I hope you find it quickly. That's definitely not that little guy's voice. Loyalty can be such a hard thing to define. This city alone is filled with all sorts of ambitious opportunists looking to reinvent themselves. Pretending to be something they're not. Who knows what lurks within their hearts. You are a girl from the north, here in service to Lady Marjorie. One can only assume her interests are yours. Yet loyalty to a king, that must be absolute, beyond question. And if your loyalties were to become conflicted between your king and the very person whom you serve, what would you do then? I'm sure she would- Let the would... girl answer the question. My loyalties would never conflict, your grace. That's she's a doing her brother, answer. how could she say that? She can say what she wants. Nothing wrong with a bit of incest. By a northern girl who thinks 2017. She can who do you choose? I must choose Marjorie, Your Grace. Clearly your handmaiden does not have her priorities straight. She is a threat to the crown, isn't she? The most dangerous handmaiden in all of King's Landing. I'm not quite sure what to make of her. I mean, that voice That's sounds surprising, like... surprising, I suppose. For that sounds like someone game. in that 80s. But not very encouraging either. I fight that conversation so much, I know. I'd like a word with you, if I may. Of course, Your Grace. I feel like I should have done a little read-up on the show beforehand. Just to get a bit of an idea of what's going on. Who the characters are. I'll walk you out. This may come as a surprise, but I met your father once, at the tourney at Lannisport. Even then he didn't trust Ruse Bolton. The amount of times I contradicted myself we in that last conversation briefly, as well. Your father struck me as an honourable man. You have my condolences for his loss. Thank you, Lord Tyrion. That's very kind of you to say. You were brave to declare your loyalty to Lady Marjorie. No doubt she was pleased, but Cersei... She will not soon forget what you said. It was quite the first impression. I, of course, found it all highly entertaining. I did it for Lady Marjorie. As you should. And of course she has your best interests at heart. My sister and I have our differences. She takes great pleasure in her little charades. I take mine in thwarting them. We must find our amusements where we can. She threatened to give your ironwood to another house. It is the master of coin who decides such matters. The crown needs boats. Boats need wood, and I speak for the crown in this regard. Not her. What are you suggesting? I suppose the crown could be persuaded to secure ironwood from House Forrester. Lady Marjorie might not look favorably on such an alliance, and it would infuriate Cersei. 
Although what would be amusing for me might prove rather dangerous for you and your house. Are you willing to risk that? It's a risk I'm willing to take, Lord Tyrion. Please. You are a brave girl, aren't you? I'll consider it. Now, if you'll excuse me, I promised Sansa I would join her for dinner tonight. Three beautiful bottles of Dornish wine await my arrival. Good night, Lord Tyrion. Just be careful. She's beautiful. This is She's not the beautiful. North. King's Landing can be a nest of vipers to the He's uninitiated. <laughs> I love how into dwarves you are. I hope that you've got pictures of dwarves all over your um all over your house. Mira, I was worried. How was it? Cersei has a way of looking at you as though you're nothing. I'd rather not discuss it, if you don't mind. Of course not. It must have been horrible. But at least it's over now. Lady Marjorie has spent the entire day working on seating arrangements for the wedding. Of course, you and I are seated way at the back. Here with the fourth cousins and the ninth born sons. Ah, Sir Jamie. I wouldn't mind tarnishing that white cloak of his. Sarah? <laughs> what? It's true. Oh my god, dirty bitch! And Oberyn Martell, the Red Viper. I'm told he has a paramour. He is quite handsome. And quite passionate, from what I've heard. Perhaps Lady Marjorie could make the right introductions. Who knows, we might meet our future husbands. Although, marrying a king, I can only imagine Oh, what I'd like. love it if they go on a sperm hunt. Would you marry Joffrey if it meant you'd become queen? Joffrey's that little kid, right? He's a little shit. He does have a certain look about him. And he's always treated Lady Marjorie well. I'd be willing to marry, but not Joffrey. Well, I would marry him. Imagine the power you would have as queen of the Seven Kingdoms. I might even allow you to be my handmaiden. You would marry him? You'd let that little, ugly little, shitty kid put his scabby little dick in your off. vagina? Ugh, have some self-respect, woman. and Tyrion Lannister. <laughs> what a perfect match. Sir Bronn and... What are you doing? Well? We're sorry, my lady. We were just having fun. He's the blonde dick. I hate him. This is not a dick. game. It's a battle. I know. I wasn't talking Allies to you. I was talking to these people. I know that you wouldn't. You've got self-respect. Yet they say it is men who are powerful. The queen was rather disappointed by your display, Mira. Oh yes. I'm just glad I, I did it's kind over. of fudge that one. King's Landing can be exhausting sometimes. There's always someone to please, or some perceived slight to smooth over. I fear it will only get worse when I am queen. Once they know your true heart, the lords and ladies will have no choice but to love you. Yeah, right. What is going on with the... It's only agree? when stuff is in the um, background. People are not always so easy to please. If you showed Cersei your true heart, she would stab it with a fork. You learn very quickly. You were brave agreeing to obey the Boltons. That cannot have been easy. I know you must fear what Lord Bolton might do to your family. I do appreciate your willingness to appease her, as difficult as it may have been. Thank you, my lady. There's been something on my mind. Something important. My mother uh. wanted me to ask a favour of you, for my family. But as you said, you're in a delicate position now with the wedding so near. And I would never want to jeopardise that. Soon I will be queen. And maybe then I'll be in a better position to help you. But for now, now we must both be cautious. Of course, my lady. You're right. Well. Better to wait. <laughs> I love my chair.
Oh, now I'm back being this dude. The dude with that not particularly manly voice. You could have you could have put more effort into keeping your horse, dude. You just let it go. <laughs> Wild sex going on. Yeah. Let's play a little game, shall we? Creepy looking. Did you know my ancestors wore the skins of their enemies as a coat? <gasps> Not my best work, unfortunately. I suppose I have full enough practice. But he didn't make it easy. What with all that bloody noise. <laughs> Like a drowning cat. I thought he'd never stop. As my father likes to say, a naked man holds few secrets. But the flayed man, the flayed man holds none. Pity he didn't know your father was the warden of the north. He does. That guy now. likes turning around. Slowly. How much further is it to these foresters? Uh, a day, my lord. Two at most. What was that? That was a twig Hello? coming for you. Shh, listen. There. Hear that? I know I heard something. Never mind. We've wasted what shit, time God? Already. Surely you'd look behind the only thing that's where you heard something. I heard something up there. Let's go up to it, but not look behind it, even though I'm literally a step away from it. Fired. You're not getting a reference from me, so... Something tells me this guy is not going to be in the best condition. Bloody hell! Bloody hell, Slayer! It looks like Willow has been here. Which Willow? Skinned. You were right, Lord that was some wild sex. As I was saying, you are young. And there are those within these walls who are uncertain of your leadership. But 300 generations of Forester Lords stand behind you. I'll stand. Lord Gerhard the Tall, who founded our house. And your grandfather, Lord Thorin the Bold, who seized back the river valley from the White Hills. What did they call my father? Lord Gregor the Good. He was fair and wise. I want to be like that, like my father. Your father was well regarded by nearly everyone. It took years, if not decades, to earn. These were your father's people to lead and protect, and now they're yours. But your father did not bear this responsibility alone. He and every forester lord before him chose one man whom they trusted above all others. The Lord Sentinel. Forester traditions demand that a new Lord Sentinel must be chosen. Keep walking, you craven son of a whore. Move. Nice. <coughs> Summon the Lord. We need his judgment. I've done nothing wrong. I was only trying to survive. Love bit of snow. Lord Ethan. Mister. Don't mind people called Who John. Who is this man? 
This craven is a deserter and a thief. This house is doomed! We all fucking know it! Quiet, thief. Eric was supposed to be guarding our weapons, but instead we caught him stealing them. He looks so much like a girl. Two shields and three spears. Why did you do it? Because I've no wish to die. Yes, my lord. I fled. We should all flee. It's not stealing if you're taking what's yours by right. He speaks it's not gay if you I've don't push family back. family to feed. They're not two coins to rub together since Lord Gregor left us to rot here. Where's our pay? Our share of bread and wine grows smaller every day. <laughs> Leave the poor man alone. Go. Lord Ethan, I know these words are hard, but they're honest. This house is falling. We'll never survive the coming winter. Calm yourself. Calm yourself. The time for calm passed with the late Lord Forrester. Now there's only chaos. You'll address him as Lord. Lord Ethan, you must decide the punishment. Lord Gregor always took a thief's fingers. Three of them. Now may not be the time for harsh punishment. The men are on edge as it is. Men need to know they cannot do whatever the fuck they please. Their lord will not permit it. We can send him to the war. Let the lord make his decision up. Jesus. I would show mercy personally. I will decide. Send him to the wall. Take his fingers. He's a thief. If you punish me, you'll be punishing an innocent man. It will be an injustice, my lord. What would you do, MLV? Please, I would show mercy. My lord, my family depends on me. Take three fingers, send him to the wall. Or show him. I'm taking three fingers. Is a. We've all taken three fingers. Um. I'm definitely not going to send him to the wall. Three fingers will show mercy. I'm thinking mercy. I'm thinking mercy. Hmm. But I'm not going to be the one that decides. No, I'm not. Square. <sighs> it's on you. Ethan of House Forrester, Lord of Ironrath, name you a thief. The price for your crime is three of your fingers. No! Please, my I still established my dominance, but I don't my kill him, Lord, so... Please. Please, Fair no. enough, MLB. Fair enough. My Lord, normally it is the Lord's duty to carry out the sentence. Oh but yeah, I'll do it. I am willing <laughs> to carry it out. <laughs> I'll do it! <laughs> I will carry out the sentence. Love to have my fingers. I do it all the time. This is injustice, my Lord! <laughs> And X. A man's gotta do what a man's gotta do. That was certainly unpleasant. But a lord must meet out punishment when it's due. Not just yourself, of course. I did what I had to do, and it didn't bother me. You heard what the thief said. I expect this sort of thing will happen again. But a sentinel can help you Don't in the face of disloyalty. You need someone you can trust by your side. Someone you can rely on. No matter the circumstance. And I'm sure you think you'd be the perfect choice. Me? Oh, gods no. Gods no. I am a maester. At the Citadel, I swore an oath to serve a maester such. beta. There are two capable men for the role. They both want the job, but neither thinks very highly of the other. How do I decide between them? Talk to them. So See which one is best at sucking it. close to you. Here. The Bracer of the Sentinel. The Badge of Office. Tonight is your first small council meeting. It would be wise to bestow this Bracer upon your chosen Sentinel then, to show that you are decisive and in control of this house. Your Sentinel will wear this for all to see. Thank you for your counsel, Maester. It is my duty. Come speak with me when you're ready to convene the small council, my lord.
Man, that graphical effect is so bad. Is there any way to turn it off? No. Nope, there isn't. Nope. You just have to put up with it. People care more about that than that guy having his three fingers. Hey, little dude. How are you, Rion? Careful. Keep at it and you won't have much left. Something Should be fine if I close my eyes. Good point, good point. Look at this. All good That's what I say to my girlfriends. I call mine two brothers. I carved this to give me strength. And this, so I remember. I mean, I could never forget, but... I'm honoured. I'm honoured. Now give me your three fingers. Huh? Yeah. yeah. It's not Someday moving his mouth at all. I'll have a real one, but not like that one. Only a lord could have that sword. You'll have a good sword. I'm sure of it. I watched you today. I saw what you did to that man. This kid's definitely going to die. Was he our enemy? A bad man? Everyone keeps talking about them. No, he's not our enemy. But he did a bad thing. People who do bad things need to be punished. Someone did Damn something skippy, bad to Rion. Father and Roderick. Someone should hurt them even worse. I want a real sword. No one's afraid of wood. I'll find the men who took Roderick someday, and I'll make sure I, got the I have a real sword when I do. Why are you confused? And hello, that last. You're all worthless and weak. Okay, there's nothing exciting over here. Nothing exciting over there. Yes, tower. Flood. Alright, Dunks. How's it going, Duncan from the, the band Blue? Duncan. Yes, my lord. I have much to consider and face a difficult decision. Perhaps I can help. Your father often sought my counsel. I look at well, that got him. As lord, I must name a sentinel. Of course. And if I may ask, who do you favour for the role? Perhaps I can share my insight. And talking can sometimes help you make a decision. What do you think of Sir Roiland? Do you trust him? He's a fine warrior, my lord. But he's nowhere near ready to serve a sentinel. I do not trust him. There's nothing wrong with he's red onions, to dude. lose his temper and get us all killed. And at the worst possible time. Thank you, Duncan. I appreciate your advice. I'm at your service, my lord. Bye, Duncan. Say hi to PJ for me. Now, when I say parry, get that sword out! That's rude, isn't it? Oh, actually meant a sword. Yes, Lord Ethan. Are you prepared to name your sentinel? Yes, Maester. I'm ready. Very well. I will convene the small council at once. Allergic to reaction to life. Yeah, I know that feeling. Personally, my allergic reaction speeds 2017. The worst year of my adult life. And... Like, nothing good has happened in 2017, has it? Let's be honest. You may sit. I believe Lord Ethan has reached Jeremy his Christopher, decision. Christopher, get it? Game, video, and Christopher? Before okay, I'll stop. I name no, my keep going. Sentinel. I must tell like your you. women say, just keep going. Dave. There was one man who stood above all others. Many thought either of you would make a fine sentinel, but I have made my decision. Exactly, just keep going. Miss Luvi! 
I feel like the obvious choice is this guy on the left because he's nice and friendly and he pays attention to me. But I feel like this guy might end up being a bit of a Kenny from The Walking Dead. You know what I mean? Like initially you hate him and want him dead, but by by the end he's a lovable fool with a bit of a short temperament. Who the fuck are they? See, I I would lean towards this guy over here. But this guy might be all right. But he's been a bit of a dick towards me so far. But he's probably just being honest. What do I do? What do I do? Left, right. Do I just let the gods decide? I'm leaning left, personally. Even though I know, I know he's probably going to die soon enough because he's nice. Righty will probably stay alive longer. Duncan? Or Sir Royland. I'm going with Duncan, I think. Oh, but she's with Sir Royland, isn't she? And I want to please her, because look at her. But Sir Royland is so ugly. And Duncan has been nice to me. Duncan Tuttle, you will be my sentinel. Tuttle! This, this is reckless! Lord Duncan Eden <laughs> has made his choice. I will not disappoint you, my lord. Now, Sentry, Good shout, Dave. what do you have to report of Ramsey Snow? And the MLB. Pascal says only a day's ride from here, with no time to waste. Mr. Luby, interesting fact about of. Dave, he actually lives in the we Philippines. We need to prepare for the worst. There's no need to panic. We can devise a plan to deal with him. And where the he Boltons is, the time is insane. The need people to harvest the ironwood. Even the bastard Ramsey what time is it in the Philippines? That. He's not coming here to negotiate. We must answer with the sword. That's bloody suicide. Jesus Christ. You gamble with the lives of everyone within these walls. Ignore Sir Royland. You named me Sentinel. I knew this would happen. He cannot be trusted. Enough! Would my Stop father have stood for this kind of bickering? Neither will I. Much love, Dave. Sir Royland is clearly able and ready to take up arms, but the rest of our soldiers are not. We need to take a cunning approach. Diplomacy can be a sharper instrument than a sword. The Bolton sigil is a flayed man. Force is the only thing they understand. Gentlemen, please. We all must agree on the plan. We cannot leave until we have a consensus. Ugh. Why not make an offering for peace, my lord? Yeah, the wisdom of the citadel. We can give the How Boltons about iron. If you let me have sex with the wife, protection. then I'll choose you instead. You must be mad. It's pure folly to just give away the only currency we have to bargain with. Enough. PM. Ugh. Oh. Dave, you're banned from all my streams forever. Maester Ortengrin has swayed me. We will offer the Boltons a share of the ironwood, and we will promise our people to harvest it. Thus securing their safety. As Sentinel and Castellan, I must warn against this. You may do this for some gain now, but in the end, it will starve this house. If we don't, there may be no house forester at all. If you aren't ready for a fight, you're bound to lose when one breaks out. Ethan has made his opinion known, and you will Pickle. respect his decision. Forgive us, my lord. We are, of course, here to serve you, as we served your father. Aye. Well then, let's decide how we shall set the stage for Ramsay's arrival. We could offer him the ironwood in the courtyard. My lord, making this kind of offer outright may simply embolden Ramsay. There could be trouble, and all the house will be there to see it. Meet him in the hall. It will be more private, and he will not have an audience to play against you. Lord Ethan? I will meet him in the Great Hall. A wise move, my lord. It's careless. Can't you see Tuttle is steering you wrong? Can't That's you see Royland. that I want you lord to Ethan shut your fucking god, dickhole? How many years have I served Jesus. this house? I cannot listen to that bloody idiot anymore! He's definitely gonna fill the Kenny me, role. My lord, but you are not We're definitely gonna love him by the end of this. House. You're likely to Classic get us all tale. killed! Get out. Get out. Good movie. You'll regret that, my lord. Um, fishes and mammals because a certain vegan told me so. What? What? What are you talking about? 
Apologies, my son. I like the Christmas. I had expected bit. better of him. But now that it is settled, we know what we must do. You will meet Ramsay Snow in the Great Hall. And we will offer the Ironwood, providing a safe future for this house. I just killed this family. That's worry, what I do. Lord, I love breaking families apart. You. It's my USP in life. Belongs. Then perhaps we should adjourn. We have and to games. prepare the house. There will always be those who question your leadership, which is why you drama. need allies you can rely on. Family. What about your brother, Asher? You want to bring him back? He's a skilled fighter, but what's more, he has the will to fight, a hunger for it. He always protected you and your sister, and we need all the help we can get. Why would you bring him back after you exiled him? He exiled himself. He has no desire to rule. Asher is volatile, but that is his strength too. Do you remember the Miller's boy? How he tormented you? I wanted to intervene, but your father said, Ethan must fight his own battles. But when Asher saw it, he didn't take a breath. He grabbed the Miller's boy by the neck. That was his first instinct. Asher knocked out half the poor boy's teeth. <laughs> of course, what a beautiful was story, furious, Mark. But you were in danger, and there was nothing else Asher needed to know. Asher does not hesitate. He acts, and we need that. You have many fine qualities. But... I'm not like that. But I don't need to be, do I? No. But you need someone who is standing beside you. Oh, think of the potential drama. More families that I can tear apart. My own. I'm trying to do what's best for this family. What this family needs. Ethan, let me send Malcolm to Essos. Fine. All right. Malcolm will go to Essos and bring Asher back. Thank you, Ethan. I'm glad you will let me do this. Know that you never stand alone. You are a forester. Mira stands with us, and she may be able to help us yet. Yes, yeah, she does. Yeah, that's right. Think about what you've done. Oh, hot diggity damn. We got some Mira action. Milady. You. Begging your pardon, milady. Go away. Oh, I'm not interested in you, you little scab. Sorry, I can't talk now. I'm sorry. I don't mean to disturb you. You do. You won't go away. I just want you to know, I... I can help you if you'd like. And your family, if you're willing to trust me. I hear all sorts of things. Things that could be useful for you. How can I trust you? There are spies everywhere in King's Landing. Which is why you must trust me, milady. You need allies. I'm sorry. I... I really must go. Yeah, I don't Please like this don't little despair. guy. Please don't despair. I know people who... People who'd be willing to help you. <laughs> I mean, that wasn't exactly a... Subtle place to go. There could definitely be someone coming down those stairs. <laughs> he looks really funny. Where's Sir Roiland? He should be here. The man values pride more than honor. We'll do without him. And without King's Landing. I know you'd hoped Mira could help us, but I'm confident we've enough strength of our own. Your men stand ready to act if needed. Our plan is a good one. It will work so long as everyone does their part. Oh yeah, we got a little hottie with us again. Isn't this a lovely pile of timber? He's gonna swear. Not the place unlocked. Not you, the big one. Fire. Ironwood is near impervious to flame, my lord. 
Is he? May I introduce Lord Ramsay of House Bolton? Son of Roose Bolton. Although a bastard, Lord Ramsay has the full authority of the Thank Warden you. of None. the... That's enough. Who is this little boy? Is he lost? Lord Ramsay, welcome to Ironrath. Aren't you the little lord? Lord Whitehall told me you were young, but this... Look at you. Puff. A token for the new Warden of the North. Let me guess. Forrester Ironwood. Carved by our most skilled craftsmen. Ironwood. Doesn't look like much. No one can match our skill. Is that so? <laughs> Not bad. Lord Whitehill, can your lot do this? Given enough time, we could learn... Given enough time, you could do a great many things. But not this, apparently. It seems the Foresters have a talent for something after all. Lord Ramsay, we have another gift to offer. There are several ironwood groves along the borders of our land, all producing tall, strong trees. We'd like to give them to the Crown in tribute, as a sign of our loyalty to the King. You would... Give him what he already owns. He is the king, after all. What's yours is already his. Look at that. War Forester. Lord Ramsay. Come out where I can see you. We really must focus on the business at hand. Leave them be, Lord Ramsay. Ah. Worried about your family, as you should be. I'm the Possibly. Lord. I'll have you speak only with me. First, let's see you bend the knee to my father, Lord Bolton, Warden of the North. Words are wind. Anyone can say they're loyal. I only kneel to the King. Is not the Warden also deserving of your respect? But then... I am not my father. Perhaps that is what you meant to say. You see? He's a fucking traitor, just like his father and brother. Here's the thing. I don't care about your loyalty. And I care even less about a bunch of trees on some far-off hill. The Crown, however, wants what you've got. Whatever you've been supplying the Starks for centuries. Ships, shields, chamber pots. I expect you'll do the same for us. My father has promised as much to the king. You wouldn't want to make him a liar, would you? That wouldn't reflect well on me. No, Lord Ramsay. That's a good little lord. You can't trust a forester. They murdered our men. It was a forester squire who did it. One Whitehill soldier dead. One bolt. Yet, your man lived. No, you're mistaken. That's not how it happened. Our men are dead. How it happened is irrelevant. Then you welcomed me into your hall like a proper lord, hoping I wouldn't linger outside long enough to notice your pathetic little army. That sort of insolence from one of our loyal bannermen will not do. So I've come up with a solution that will benefit everyone. The White Hills will be taking control of your Ironwood from this day forward. What? Uh -huh. The Ironwood? But... That is our livelihood. Then you'd better well find another fucking job. <laughs> you can't Tony. do that. <laughs> Why not? You know something the White Hills don't? We are talking about trees. The foresters have been tending Ironwood for thousands of years. The White Hills had Ironwood once, but now those hills are bare. Do you want Ironwood for the next five years, or the next fifty generations? The little lord does have a point. We'll try this. Lord Whitehill will take half of your Ironwood, and we'll see who fares better. But my lord... Half of something is better than the nothing you had before. 
To ensure there's no trouble, Lord Whitehill will install a garrison of 20 men within your walls. At Ironrath, that we cannot abide. Ethan. They'll help maintain the King's peace. And make sure there's no more trouble. This will cause more trouble, not less. <laughs> not for me. You have a man you trust? My son, Griff. 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 Great name. We'll lead the garrison. You have no right. White Hills have no place here. That's. Do make this visit worthwhile. Please, Duncan, don't. Look at this little forester. You're not frightened, are you? Lord Ramsay, please. And you? Are you Lord Ethan's older sister? I'm his twin, my lord. Ah, twins. Well, like the Queen and her brother. Well, <laughs> hopefully not just like the Queen and her brother. Chris. I never had a sister. Always wanted one. We have more to discuss, Lord Snow. I have an idea. You'll come with me. You can be my highborn ward. Lord Ramsay, that's hey. enough. Do you like no. hunting? Let it her go. Creepy. She's quite pretty, your sister. We'd get along well. <gasps> I suppose you can stay. Aren't you the bold lord? Oh, no! oh shit! No! But I don't want a ball. He's not expecting that. <laughs> Far too much trouble. Ethan! Ethan! Shit! Oh, no, no. I knew you'd bend the knee eventually. I think we've come to an understanding. I yeah, yeah. certainly feel better about all this. Ethan. What have you done? However, the foresters need to keep their end of the bargain. That was a little bit Take the boy as your wall. Kill him. If they give you any trouble. Brian. Lovely meeting all of you. We'll have to do it again sometime. He acts just like you, Miss Moody. Fetch the mace so quickly! You brought this on yourself. Please, stop! Don't let him take me! Let it go! Gosh! Stop that! Don't let him take me! Let me go! You're dead, mate. There's no way you're surviving that. There you go. Dead. Bad bitch. Was not expecting to get stabbed in the neck. I was expecting to get stabbed in the back. Your story has begun. Ethan sacrificed himself for us all. He saved Talia's life. He'll be remembered as Ethan the Brave. This house needs a leader. Lord Ethan named me. Yeah, right. His story has I ended. You're right. <laughs> my sister asked you to swear loyalty to her son, <laughs> and you flat out refused. We can't let them hurt Ryan too. We have to stop them. We do not stand alone. There are those who will fight for us. Those who hold House Forester above all other loyalties. Those who will not stop until Ethan is avenged. Until Ryan is home again, our house will not fall. We will be ready. Nothing comes without a cost, my lady. Are you prepared for what might happen? Drama!